Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to display the current date on the web page and then format the date however we want. You're gonna be able to display the date in any type of format and it's going to be live and active on every page load. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we see today's date on the live site. I'm gonna go ahead, reload this again, and it is today's date. It is Tuesday, September 24th, 2019, and we see the date formatted in two different ways. We're in Designer and we're going to apply a class to our text element. You can see that we no longer have a date here. It just says heading. It can say anything you want. It doesn't matter because we're going to update this text string with the current date. You can see that this one has a class of hack 22 date version one. And this one has a class of hack 22 date version two. We're going to use two different formatting structures to insert the date into each of these text elements. Let's see how it works. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. We are going to be setting two different variables and then applying different options to those variables. Look, here we have our date version one and we have our date version two. Within these variables, we're going to store options. These options are going to format our date text in a very different way. Let's go through and see how this is working. Here in version one, the output is sat des 25, 2019. And you can see from the options, this makes a little bit of sense. We have weekday short sat. We have our year numeric which is the full 2019. We have our month set to short, which is DEC instead of December. And we have our day as two digit, 25, perfect. And with all those options, we are going to be able to format the text very easily. And here in version two output, we have this more short version where we're doing 12 slash 25 slash 19. Year, two digit, month, two digit, day, two digit. Great, now we have our options stored as variables and when we go and change the text content on the page, we're going to tell JavaScript to use this variable or this variable. All right, now let's get to updating the text content. Document query selector. We are targeting the classes that we applied in designer. And we're going to update that text element with our new formatted date. We are grabbing our hack 22 date version one. We are going to change the text content of this class. We are going to create a new date. We are using the method to local date string. We are formatting in English US and we have our date version one options. So our version one class, the first one in the live example, is going to be formatted with our date version one options. And then our option two, our other text, is going to be formatted with our date version two. And we're doing the same exact thing here. Version two, we're updating the text content, we're creating a new date, we're using the to local date string, English US, but now we're using our date version two options. Okay, nice, very easy. Now, I'm sure that you're going to want to totally customize your date, format it however you want. Maybe you wanna use full December, maybe you want to not show the, the day at all, or do whatever you need to do. So the best option for looking through the options is right down here, the Mozilla Developer Docs were the most full and simple to understand docs that cover how this, the formatted dates work and how the options work. So we're gonna go and look at that really quick. And you can see we have lots of information here. Some of it will not apply to you, some of it will. And look, we have our weekday. We used the short, but you can use the long to fully spell it out. 
Uh, we are using year, numeric or two digit. We have the month with different options. And you can go ahead and customize the date and formatting however you see fit. That is how this works. That is how we are putting the date on the site. You can apply this to a class. You can apply it to a text element. You can apply it to a span. It is here for you to customize. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.